Hi, Mickey. Well done. Um, after what was a, a pretty tough first half, uh, a much better second half and a good result. Yeah, um, I thought the players uh, handled the game really well after Tuesday night. Um, we had obviously a disappointing performance and a result on Tuesday. And um, I thought they, they'd done well. They kept them quiet first half. And then second half, our, our bit of class really sh shone through and we, we won the game comfortably. And you must be very happy with your players, how quickly they adjusted to the pitch and the, difficult, the difficulties around it. Flackwell are obviously going to be well up for the game. Yeah. You see us as a, a, big, a very big club for them, a big scalp. Yeah, they so. did. I mean, they, they gave it a good go. And, you know, you could see at the end they were, they were quite sort of upset and emotional about it all. But our job was to be professional here today, and that's what we've done. Um, you know, we've got a good result. And we're through it, win to the hat for the next round. Mm. Um, and I think the main problem, getting used to the conditions, was actually the football. Um, it's a different ball and it wasn't the best and I think the lad struggled with that for about half an hour really. But once we got to terms with everything, we, we, then, we, we, were, we were never in danger, I didn't feel like we were ever in danger. And like I say, we won a comfortable one. It was a very niggly game, second half. You must be very happy that your players kept their heads. And yeah. they targeted Aaron Brown, it seemed. They yeah, went after yeah, a bit. Yeah. So. It's difficult. Uh, their number 10 was a bit naughty, if I'm honest. Um, he, he's, he's clouted Aaron off the ball. He's, Aaron's got a, a, a bloodied nose. Um, and, yeah, they, they, you know, they were 4-1 down at the time. And I think they just thought... That was their way of getting a bit of a pound of flesh out of us, and um, it, it did get a little bit silly. But you know, we, we kept our heads and we were professional about it, and you know, got the lads in the changing rooms, and away we go. Uh, goals haven't been a problem for you this season, um, and with Bristol Rovers holding Jamie Lucas back in the cup, another one of your strikers has come in and taken the chance, and then two goals for Ryan Bath today. He's, he must be very happy. Yeah, I am. I, I, Bath, he's done, um, he's done really well since he's, he's come back in. He had a, he had a knee problem. He's a great lad. He's an honest lad. Um, you know, he's a big, awkward customer, um, and he gets in the six-yard box and he finishes things off. So, you know, look now we've got four decent strikers. You know, with Jamie back. Um, and that's what we want. We, uh, you know, we want to be scoring goals. I want, I want strikers who score goals. Um, and you know, he's done it today. And I thought Corey, he's been ill through the week, and he, he just sort of ran out of steam. But even Corey had a couple of chances where he could have scored quite easily. So, like you say, that's not the problem. We, we just need to tighten up defensively, especially in the league, and then we'll be okay. Going forward, anyone you fancy in the draw? <laughs> Um, it's a difficult one, really. I mean, you know, the plum draws Bristol Rovers, obviously. That would be a fantastic draw. But, you know, whoever's in the league structure is below us. You know, and a winnable game, or that, that would be nice as well. So I'd like one of the big ones or one of the little <laughs> ones. Nothing in between. Very good. Thank you very much, Mickey. Well Cheers. done today. Thank you.